Senator, you are a resident in this area as well. And uh, I don't want this to be a conversation about a local problem because I see this as emblematic of bigger issues. Now, so firstly, do you agree? This is typical of the way politics is done these days. Sometimes, you know, behind closed doors and without opponents being alerted to it. Well, Fred, the main issue here is that the interests of the small businesses have not been taken into account. I think there's been a lot of discussion in back rooms about what to do here, but I don't believe there's been a proper ventilation of the issues and the impacts on small businesses. And obviously I represent the state in the federal parliament, so I'm not engaged in day-to-day -day, uh, road and transport issues, but I do know that the incumbents are doing a poor job of representing the small businesses, which I believe will be very badly affected if this is to go ahead. How badly affected will they be? Well, to start with, it will erect a permanent cycleway in front of all these businesses. And Oxford, Oxford Street is uh, dominated by small business. There are other roads which have very few or no small businesses. So uh, I think they will be affected in the construction phase but permanently impacted, perhaps through the loss of parking spaces and accessibility, but also physically uh, having a barrier in front of their businesses will be bad for their shops. Well, just to um, explain to the viewers about how serious this could be, at one end mm. of this stretch of Oxford Street is St Vincent's Hospital. Mm. And you don't have to wait long on Oxford Street to see an ambulance rush down there with sirens blaring. If they reduce the street from four lanes to two, those ambulances are going to get stuck in traffic, no doubt about it. Now, that's, that seems to me reflective of the fact that the people behind this don't really care. Well, I don't think this has had the proper consideration that it requires. I believe there is a lot of, there have been a lot of conversations that have happened behind the scenes here. And what I'd like to see is a full ventilation of the best options with the data uh, before any decisions are made. Now, ultimately, all roads, pardon the pun, lead to Jo Halen, who, who is the new roads minister, and she'll be forced to make a decision. Uh, but I would like to see all members of federal and state parliament who have a view on this uh, present their perspectives to Minister Halen as well as the local councillors. I mean, they play a very important role here in representing the local interests of small businesses, but also the residents. Yeah, well, representing is the key word here. I mean, uh, and, and again, you know, just to sort of make it emblematic of what's happening around the country, it's, you know, it's, it's, mm. it's increasingly the feeling of people that they're just no longer represented by their representatives. 